Now I will show you how to use the calendar function. Select calendar from the top menu. The calendar must be connected to a Google account. Click on connect to Google Calendar. Choose a Google account and log in. On the top left corner you can see which Google account that is being used. If you want to change to another account, click log out. Then you can log in to another Google account. Add a new calendar event. To add a new calendar event, you can click directly on one of the calendar days or you can press add new event. First you must choose date and time for when the event will start and end. To select a date, click on the calendar icon to open all of the dates. Then click on the date. To select time in hour and minutes, you can enter the numbers directly or you can navigate by using the up and down arrows on your keyboard. Add an alarm. To add an alarm, Click the alarm checkbox. Here you must specify how many minutes, hours or days before the event the alarm will ring. If you want to add several alarms, click the plus button. Add summary, routes and description. You must write the title in order to save the event. One example is Travel to Peter. Routes contain a list of the routes that are created with the Home Navigation app. If you want a specific route to be connected to this event, you can select the routes in this list. This is optional. In the Describe box, you can describe the event in more detail. This is also optional. Add image or video. You can add an image or a video. To the event. Drag and drop an image or a video to the gray field or click the field to get access to the files on your computer. The image or video will then be uploaded and added to this event. Repeat event. If you want the calendar event to be repeated automatically, click here. You can choose to repeat the event every day, every week, or every month. Add instructions. You can add instructions to an event. Click on instructions. Here you can make instructions by writing a text, adding an image, adding a video and recording speech. Written instruction is mandatory while 
image, video, and speech are optional. You can write the instruction in the open text field here. Drag and drop an image or a video to the gray field or click the field to get access to the files on your computer. You can only add one image or video per instruction. You can record speech by clicking on the recording button. When you want to stop the recording, click on Stop. When you are done, click on Add Instruction. Now the instruction is added. You can add several instructions to the same event. If you want to upload a video, the video file must be MP4 and the size cannot be larger than 50 megabytes. For videos, another choice is to insert a YouTube link. Insert the link and press Add YouTube link. Save event. Click Save. Now the event is saved in the calendar and will appear in the Poseidon app on the user's mobile device.